Kaczynski, and I am an associate professor for San Diego Community College, our continuing education program, and also for Southwestern College for our culinary arts and baking program there. Actually going on 11 years, I've been teaching. Um, started out part-time at Grossmont College and worked my way through the system on and off for um, full-time, part-time while I was uh, a chef and um, just really enjoy teaching. I was the executive pastry chef for the Cone Restaurant Group for five years and uh, started at Blue Point and then worked for Dakota and opened Tupelo and then when we opened the Prado I moved there. I was there for about two and a half, three years and that's when I decided to get into teaching a little bit. Um, and I was the executive chef at Aubergine for about two years and realized it was just a lot of work with uh, my daughter as well so I went back to teaching full time. My dad was a dentist and every summer we would go to San Francisco as an excuse. He had a dental convention and we would go as a family to go eat and shop, really, while he was at the convention. And one year my mom said, hey, let's for fun take a tour of culinary school. Well, back then, it, unless you were in the business, your family was in the business, you didn't really think about becoming a chef. That wasn't an option, really, in my family. So we took a tour of the school, and I was a junior in college, and um, as soon as the tour was over, I turned to my parents and I said, this is what I want to do. I had always had a love for cooking, never thought I could do it for a living. Um, my mom was a great baker, my dad was great grilling, making Chinese food, so I had a lot of influence for my family, but that day was basically the day where I decided, this is what I want to do, and I did it. So that next, uh, I finished um, my BA, and then uh, the next fall, I went to culinary school. Really expand your taste buds to be able to go out and try something new, to explore the cultures behind the food and really get an understanding of why the seasonings are what they are, where the food is grown, try and um, use as many fresh ingredients as possible. And really what I teach a lot of my students is look at your plate and does it have a lot of color in it. And we not only eat with our tongues, but we eat, we eat with our eyes. And the color really makes things bright and refreshing and unique. And I think that that's, if that is a philosophy, then that would be it, is to really just incorporate a lot of flavors, bold flavors and colors into your dishes. Gosh. I, the first thing that comes to mind, honestly, is um, a lychee <laughs> because it's got a really interesting skin. It's kind of tough on the outside and then you peel it back and you see this beautiful pink shimmery kind of shell, almost like an abalone on the inside. Um, and then you have this really sweet, juicy <laughs> um, flesh that is so intriguing because you taste it and you're not quite sure what it is, you have all these flavors going on and you try and pinpoint, is it flowery, is it fruity, is it, you know, whatever it is. Um, and how would I prepare it? I, don't, I would probably just eat it raw. <laughs> My best advice is you get out of this what you put into it. If you are not determined and motivated on your own, nobody is going to do that for you. And it is a really tough world out there. It's very competitive and you have to have thick skin and you have to try your best every day.